mark this email update in your email inbox. Sean will not play tonight. When when Sean or, or Andre are dealing with some some things, what does that do to your second unit and the, the steadiness that you guys are trying to find on the court? Well, it gives other guys an opportunity to play. Uh, it's early in the season, so we're still kind of searching for uh, rotations and rhythm and stuff like that. So um, you know, we we've just got to. Rely on uh, you know next guy up, and uh, you know it means that maybe Quinn, maybe Alfonso, uh, maybe Jacob, you know, those guys can step into the mix. But we'll see how the game goes. Steve, is there anything uh, specific that Jordan can do to crack the rotation right now, or has it been more of a matchup thing so far? It's just a numbers thing, to be honest with you. I mean, when you look at uh, you know how we play. Um, and how many guys we have in the front court. Uh, Jordan's not doing anything wrong, but uh, you know we're committed to starting Damian uh, because of his size and uh, potential. So we're grooming him, and he's doing a, a nice job. And Looney is just ahead of Jordan. Um, you know, he's, this is his fourth year. Jordan's got two years in, or a year in, and uh, this is his second year. And. Uh, Jonas gives us floor spacing, um, and sometimes we go back to Draymond, and, and uh, you know quickly if things aren't going well. So, just more than anything, it's a numbers game, and um, so it's frustrating for Jordan, but he hasn't done anything wrong. It's just reality. It's hard to play everybody. And he actually spent a lot of his summer with Kavon down in LA. Did you like the work he did, and did you notice any improvement from him in the off season? Yeah, Jordan worked really hard, and um, and he continues to work hard. And I'm confident that he's going to make an impact on our team. Uh, but right now, things aren't going his direction. Uh, with teams pushing the pace so fast and shooting, you know, even more threes than you're shooting, uh, how do you maintain the edge and offensive efficiency? Uh, I think we have to work for better shots. I just feel like early in the season we're um, we're rushing shots. Uh, we're shooting quickly, which I don't mind, but uh, I'd, I'd like to get great shots instead of decent ones. And um, we're kind of settling for decent shots right now. So um, we're, we'll be okay once we start playing with the purpose of mind to, to look for great shots for each other. Coach, kind of building off of that, uh, paces up significantly across the league. Um, you're way ahead of the curve with that. I've been playing at a fast pace for many years. So. One, what are the advantages of playing at a fast pace? Why are so many teams doing it? And two, uh, do you see it ending anytime soon, or is this going to be the new normal? Uh, I think this is the, the way that uh, teams are going to want to play. It's a fun style, so players want to play this way. I think fans like to see it. And then I think the league has, has recognized that uh, you know, it's a popular style, and so they're, they're also you know, kind of tightening rules and encouraging that style of play uh, with the rule changes, the subtleties within the rule, not just the changes, but within the uh, interpretations of the rule. Um, so everything is geared towards the offense right now. And um, and that's, um, you know, the league's in a good place. There's a lot of talent and people are able to show their talent and that's all a good thing. So uh, yeah, a lot of high scores around the league. It's Steve, uh, the follow-up on the release, the guys released on um, DeMarcus's progress. Um, when your guys are saying he's going to be able to do some controlled aspects of team practices, what sort of things are those as opposed to things he wasn't able to do before? Uh, I think he'll be more involved in practice. He's been doing a lot of individual work um, most of the young season. You know, he, he has not participated in most of our practices. He's done work in the weight room, in the training room, and then on the floor before practice. So I think we're going to start seeing him uh, involved in more of our team uh, activities, uh, you know, five on zero and um, you know, ball handling, skill work. And then if we do scrimmage, which is very rare, but if we do, um, it's usually with the young guys who don't play a lot. Uh, he'll probably join those scrimmages. 
So even though he still has a lot of things that he has to do with his rehab, has his progress exceeded the expectations of anyone? We're not going down that path. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing fine. He's doing well. Steve, you talked last night about wanting to establish a better rhythm of offense early in the first quarter. How do you get that message through to the group right before game time? It's something you want every game, I assume, but yeah. how do you emphasize it today? Uh, we always show uh, clips from previous the previous game. Every day we do that, and uh, we try to show trends. We try to show what we're doing well, what we're doing poorly, um, what we need to improve on. So that's the process. You know, there's no time to to uh, to practice. You know, the, the game was you know 20 hours ago, so uh, we got to get ready to, to roll again. Coach, uh, you said at the beginning of the season that you didn't want Jerry Brown to play too much center. Uh, if he has been all center, are you a little concerned that it has it's taken this early to have to put him out in a position? No, I, I don't even look at it that way. Um, you know, it's. I suppose that what would take it out of him is if, if we're playing him at center against Stephen Adams and uh, you know guys like that. Um, but the way the NBA is played these days, there are very few of those behemoth centers. Most centers are are just um, stretch guys who uh, happen to be tall and <laughs> sometimes get a rebound. So I don't I don't think the min his minutes at center have been. Too uh, taxing for him. Steve, from your uh, vantage point last night, it seemed like middle of the fourth quarter your team, I felt, was more engaged defensively. Yeah, I agree. And how, how do you get them to do that earlier in the game? And from your perspective, what is the difference when they do do that and that it's, it's successful? I thought uh, we had that in Salt Lake. You know, I thought even. Uh, Though we were down big, I thought we were engaged the whole game in Salt Lake, and um, you know, I, I con conditioning was a concern of mine going into that road trip. I thought we looked good in Salt Lake. I thought we looked sluggish in Denver. It's game three of the season, um, so when I said last week we're not quite in shape, um, I think it showed itself. I, th I thought we got over a hump in Salt Lake, and then I was probably too quick to say that because we didn't look as sharp uh, last night. I thought we looked uh, a little slow, a little sluggish. So early in the season, you got to get over that hump. You got to play through that stuff. And I'm confident that we will. Uh, but um, you, know, you have to develop a consistency with your execution too. And uh, sometimes when you don't execute and you don't play well, it, it demoralizes guys and they just hang their heads. And uh, that's part of what happened last night. And. Uh, so better execution and the ball going in the basket a little bit more will bring guys' energy up too. Coach, last time you saw Phoenix Devin was rehabbing the hand and now he's back. So how, how was how, what does he bring? What's a different dynamic that you may see tonight that you didn't see during the preseason game? Uh, well, he's a great player and uh, you know we know what he can do. So uh, our guys have played against him many times. There's, there's nothing nothing new about his game. Uh, it's, uh, he's just a great player, all-star caliber player, and we'll, uh, we'll have our scouting report on him and we'll be ready. Mr. Steve, obviously Jacob's a rookie, but what sort of things does he need to hone in on to get some opportunities? Um, nothing in particular. You know, um, this isn't you know, the YMCA. You, know, you, don't, you don't have to play 15 guys all eight minutes a piece. You know, CMBA, he's a rookie. You know, he's just learning what's, what's going on. He'll get his chance at some point, but he's not doing anything wrong. It's just he's got people ahead of him right now. See, last night it was pretty clear that you were um, displeased with the execution. Um, assuming that you've seen a little, looked a little closer at the game from last night, uh, do you feel the same way, and what are the things you maybe think that can can change in a hurry? Um, I thought uh, we 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 didn't move the ball. Um, we are not passing the ball well at all through three games. Our passing totals are way down. Um, I think we're um, taking quick shots, which I don't mind, but they're not open. Quick shots, which are wide open, are great. Quick shots that are um, semi-open when you've got lots of time to probe and make the defense work. I think that's how you take control of a game. Uh, 
there was a possession late last night when uh, Damian got a dunk where it was like three or four passes, drive and kick, drive and kick, the defense reacts. Kevin throws it up and he dunks it. It's like, <laughs> yes, yes, more of that. And that's what we need. We've got to, we've got to be more focused in our approach and our intent and uh, kind of make the defense work harder. Last one for Garrett. At halftime, Rick Welts is giving Red Panda a new unicycle. <laughs> this is, it's, everybody knows who Red Panda is. What if we like to have the opportunity to, to help someone? Like this unicycle is essential to her livelihood. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm proud of the uh, organization for, for doing that. Uh, she's been amazing. She's one of the great uh, halftime acts uh, in sports. And uh, so I, I think that's great that she'll be here tonight. And um, I, I will. Uh, ask for a report from you guys afterwards because I'll be busy at halftime, but uh, <laughs> I'm happy that she's she got her bike back. Great. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate that.